Hey everybody, Adam A.K. CS Radical here with uh, Chris and uh, Vish. We're here for the Sony reveal event. This is not your traditional podcast. This won't even be available on audio because it's going to sound terrible if we do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this is just going to be a straight run through of the reveal. None of us have seen anything yet. Unfortunately, we got spoiled on a couple of things because social media over the course of two to three hours is impossible to avoid, apparently. And I, uh, and I, I saw another one just a few minutes ago. Why don't look. You, why would you why look? Why would you look at your phone? <laughs> I don't know. See, he, am, okay, he has the biggest problem. We know this much. Yes. So you've had three spoiled. I had one. And Adam, I think you had one. Yeah, I had one. But we're not going to say what it is just in case they're all different because then that makes us all have three. It's literally an hour of Madden. That's all we know. I mean, yes. I would be disappointed, but at the end of it, I would laugh. It is I true. Would it would be kind of funny. I'm really frustrating, but it'd be kind of funny. Yeah. But yeah, you guys all ready? Let's get this show on the fucking road and see Let's what uh, see what the next six months are going to be like for hype. Oh, God, I just realized I have to wait six months. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's, let's get this shit going. I'm already loving this music. <laughs> Could this be my ringtone, please? <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. It's just salmon. Yeah. It's always inappropriate for children. We know this. Everything's inappropriate. May. Maybe. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, that's you, that. It's a white mean. box, guys. That's the PlayStation 5 right there. I wow. mean, that, oh, it actually man. fits the aesthetic of my house. Oh, this is Currently. getting trippy. Yeah, what's happening? My brain's melting. Me? Guys, that's totally the console. It's just a giant triangle. <laughs> that would make sense. If they did that? I would be a Spider Man's eye. Is that supposed to be Spider Man's eye? We all be sitting there being like, how does this computer work? What's the hole for? <laughs> Man, this as a GIF would be a really sick background on a computer. Like a wallpaper? Yeah, it would. Trippy, but super fucking cool. They also could have sped it up a little bit. Also, this music. Wait. Sony, congrats. An X and a square. Is this an Xbox reveal? Nope. Nope. It's just <laughs> okay. not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> There's not enough X's in this. Can't be an Xbox. <laughs> Xbox oh. Series X, X edition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's an old sound. You ever wonder, like, different choices? What? Nice. No. I like the hand we've been dealt. Okay. These are all their... I already love this. Gotta get that yeah. highlight hype. Yeah. I'm you know, getting goosebumps. I'm sitting yeah, there just too. watching this being like, well, that's at least like half of this catalog I've definitely played. I have not, and I look forward to finally doing it. Oh, give me that Persona oh. stuff. And there's Shishima. Oh, man, I cannot wait for that game next month. You, Tsushima, yeah. And then I literally in eight days, wait. eight days, people uh -huh. are going to be getting Last of Us. It's freaking crazy, like, how this is coming out now with all this stuff still on the horizon. Yeah. How the hell am I supposed to wait six months? <laughs> even just to play these? <sighs> Who was that guy at the end? Oh, the shit. Sword? That's, uh... Was that What's Rockstar? Wait. What are the... Nah, I don't know. That thing. That well, GTA Five. okay, but is it... Okay, uh, okay, well, we're off to an, a not interesting start. PS5. It's, it's, it's a, a game that's delay. already existing coming on. Con this, this is GTA 5 instead of Skyrim, Chris. This is exactly what's going on. There's a little bit of a delay at my end. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it's just a few seconds. But it's got the PS4 logo in the top left. So it's not even uh, showing it's the PS5 version. I'm listening to the music. It almost sounds like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Gang banging? It totally sounds. I've, I've never seen that episode of Mr. Rogers. Look, 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 look. It's, it's hidden in the deleted scenes, all right? Yeah. This cannot be traced back to me. Yeah, the DeLoreans, go figure. Jetpacks, it's all there. Yeah, this is all stuff that's already in the game. What's what's your point here, Rockstar? Yeah. Things. Is it just going to say it's coming to PS5? I'm like, yeah, that that's awesome, Rockstar, but you didn't need a three-minute video for this. Cover. 
That would have made no. this game be on three generations, right? Oh, yeah, gone. absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be on PS3, PS4, PS5. Yeah, it's I'm coming in 2021. Okay, I mean, sure. That was pointless. Like that's that's that how you're so kicking pointless. this off, Sony. I'm kind of disappointed in you. Oh, they're setting our expectations low and then gonna raise them soon. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, sure, if that's your plan, but shit. We'll get GTA Online free at launch. Oh, okay, so that's a, okay. That's cool. I mean, if you're a PS4 user, getting a million bucks every month is pretty sweet. That's to keep you playing until the PS5's out. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> if you didn't, you're gonna be able to. That's not. It's not bad. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, PC users aren't going to get that luxury as far as we know, but, you know. No. I mean, I've owned the game for, like, three years, and I still haven't played online yet, so it's not like... I mean, I've it, been it is really a big deal if you are a PlayStation user, if that's only who gets it, because it, it is a big fuss. To kick today uh, the look back at just of not enough money? Of yeah, it's you have to grind a lot. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game Graphics in this game are amazing. Every PlayStation <laughs> console. Grand Theft Auto. Looks so real. It's been a privilege. <laughs> yeah, look at these graphics. Games for many years now, and we're thrilled to open. Uh, is this? The is the anyone watching in 3D? Continue with PlayStation <laughs> 5. Yeah. It's now just over a year. Oh shit! I forgot to put on my uh, PlayStation, PlayStation TV 5. 3D glasses. The day, the yeah, I should have been watching this in VR. <laughs> uh, it's like he's already here with us. I mean, you joke, but this this could be like possible with Unreal Five these days. I I, 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 I get what you're saying. Showcases how PS Five has inspired developers to create new experiences. Now that you're saying that, oh, is this part of the game? I'm looking at it, being like, you know what? This almost looks like game graphics to me now. <laughs> no. Uh, have we got it set to 480p? What's going on? <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so this is this is their new studio section. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool that they made that finally. Boom. Oh, this is the this is the first one. What do we got here? He was right. That was Spider-Man's voice, wasn't it? Oh yeah, there it is. Now it's your turn. Be a hero, Miles. What's up, Miles? Oh yeah, that's totally Miles. Okay. It is. It's um. Well, I'm glad the one thing I got spoiled was. But first. listen, look at this. There's something big about it. you're gonna find in a second. Oh, I didn't hear anything big about well, it. Shut yet, the fuck up and let us react to it, son of a son yeah. of a bitch. Come on. Oh yeah, it's got rap music now. Oh shit. This is it? Oh damn, that is sick. Yup. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So I wonder yeah. I wonder how large a game that is. Holiday 2020, 2020. is the launch title. That's a launch title? Yup. And it's, oh, pr it's pretty crazy too, because like you wonder like how long have they been working on this? I don't know. That's the, I have a few bait questions about it, but... No, never mind. That's not going to happen. That, never mind. Questions, uh, questions revoked. Well, I mean, regardless. Yeah. I, I, I definitely want to play it, and that's going to be. Oh, a, I mean, we. I think. I think that's a given, given how much we love the uh, the last Spider Man. So yeah, all it was unanimously. It's a unanimously loved title. All right, that's let's we, let's let's, let's see now. let's see what racing games look like on PS Five now. Because every Ollie, every Ollie every new console happy. needs a racing game. It's because you can do so much I, with hard graphics. Did, that's I thought you liked Racer. I don't people. mind him. I just, I just love how like every single new launch always has to show you like a big car game. Just be like, look at how good our graphics are because it is the best game to do it for. Yeah, because you can make cars look sick because there's no human factor to it. Yeah. Well, the, also the thing is with um, racers, they're universally playable because it's such a simple aspect that a lot of people. Gran Turismo is back. I knew do, it. Do we have Gran to remind Turismo. you, Vish, that it is actually Gran Turismo 7? <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck you, I, Gran uh, Turismo, with your stupid driver's tests. Eat my ass. <laughs> oh my. I mean, it the looks, it looks fucking gorgeous, controller but again, TV. it's cinematic still. I, I want to see gameplay. Like, cinematic trailers do not mean anything to me. 
Yeah, it looks yeah. pretty, but it's got to look pretty in game. Yeah, I know. The I know. Driving simulator. At least Spider Man showed some gameplay, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This and gameplay. I mean, and I mean, obviously, after this video is done, I'm going to watch the 4K version if someone posts it so I can get an even better look. There's Sarah. <laughs> She's showing us our sick Adam ass. Adam is art. making sure he watches everything in 4K now. Fuck, Fuck yeah. I Dude, that's that what it. I'm going to be looking at in six months. You bet your ass I want to look at it. <laughs> yeah, this there we go. Good. I love the racing. It's the driver's test. If they got rid of those, I'm in. This is I mean, so that, cool. I, and again, it's the same thing. Like, I wish I had the money to get VR and go full on this because that would be incredible to play in VR. Yeah. Not to, not to mention, I would definitely get a wheel for that, too. I, I would want to go full in on that. Wow. The, um... Talk to our buddy Kyle. He's got a whole setup. Yes, he does. Yeah, why, the, uh... why, why do you think I want it now? Because <laughs> I tried it once and went, well, this is, like, the best thing ever. <laughs> you know, the, it's moving so smoothly, man. Like, the yeah. frame rate is so slick. Looks beautiful. Fucking beautiful. I mean, again, pretty basic racing gameplay. It's not like that's going to change. Like, it's a racing sim. It's, no. That's yeah. never going to change. It's just the idea of how fast it runs and just how beautiful it ends up being. So you get immersed in that car. Yeah. That's the important yeah, like, thing now. Nothing was different than probably the last three Gran Turismos, except how beautiful it looks. And definitely. Was that's, Jesus yeah. Christ, that was scary. That is adorable. Oh, dear God. God, God, shut it off. Shut it off. <laughs> it's going to get eaten. Yep. By the way, what is that? It's gonna eat it. Oh, oh, what is? Oh, what? Yes. You all right back there? No. Is this? Yeah. Hey, first prediction. I was, I was right on that front, wasn't I? Yeah, I was right on this one. I was wrong on the Spider-Man. Yeah, I was right on the Spider-Man too. So so far, I'm doing pretty yeah, good. Good shit for you. I mean, we can't be that far. Oh, I'm so down to play a new Ratchet. Yeah. Since I guess you guys were a couple seconds behind me for some reason, even though we're literally using the same feed, I guess I'll try to try to calm down for a couple more seconds. No, no, go ahead. Man, this looks crazy. It looks like fun as shit. Man. And like it's yeah. wow, that's a great transition between the gameplay wow. too. That wow, if that's in real time, that's unreal. That's really cool. Yeah, like I think this is happening in game. I can't tell. Like, I don't wow. think it's a cinematic. No, I, think that's no, I don't. I think this is a cinematic showing. No, because look, it's in the game, but qualities. with portals. So it's, it's, I don't know. I think that might actually be a thing. Yeah, like, I can't tell. It has a gameplay feel, like with the dragon and stuff flying around. I mean, who knows? It may be cinematic, but that'd be really cool think... to do to your, your viewer base right now, because this looks amazing. I don't... I don't think it's cinematic. No, this, no, it's not. Yeah, Look, like, this is definitely gameplay right here. Yeah, like... It I don't know. It I think it's transitioning going back and, back and forth, maybe? It could be, yeah. Yeah, I, I think know. that's all it's showing, that you can switch between worlds and portals like this. Ratchet. <gasps> Did they get separated? Is this just a Clank game? Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> it's Nega Ratchet. What? <laughs> you know what I think is gonna happen? It's gonna be an alternate reality where that he I never met that robot. At game. Either that, or it's, uh, either that, or it's somebody else in the species, or it's an alternate dimension. Who fucking knows? And Clank rift hmm. Guys, new, yeah. What happened to the rest of his body? Built from the ground up for the PlayStation Five. I mean, <laughs> look. Oh, well, no, there. I need to drink more first before I answer that. <laughs> from planet to planet, nearly instantly. Yeah, planet to planet, nearly instantly. That's that's really cool. All alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. so cool. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting. If there's one thing that I will say about Ratchet, like, I wish I had been big on PS3 back then and really got into Ratchet and, and, and stuff, too, because, man, the, like, that series is so underrated. Like, people really need to talk more about that series because it did such a fantastic job at, at differentiating itself, especially when it came to uh, its weaponry. Yeah, Is there, there we go. There's, there's, there's the gameplay right away. So we know it's just changing riffs and shit. Damn. That's fucking cool, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like you're jumping between riffs and. It's almost like teleportation mixed with, with like dimensional travel. 
Yeah. It's the space stone. And man, that looks um, that looks so good. This is the uh, this is the upside too of obviously 60 frames, 4K potentially. It makes these CG stuff. It's like almost like playing a Pixar game. Yeah. Like yeah. I I can't imagine now that I'm going back and thinking about it. Kingdom Hearts 3 having the Toy Story world. I can't imagine that world in 4K. Oh my god. Because it looked amazing in 1080. Yeah, the graphics on this are insane. Like, I mean, yeah, it's got, like, a cartoony, like, Pixar feel, and it's, but still, It's saying like... in the corner it's pre-alpha, so, I mean, you know, it may get, it may end up getting downgraded like a lot of games do, but still, like, you know the frame rate will be there because these games are meant to be more that than they are pretty, but, I mean, it still looks great for a cartoony design, right? Yeah, like, it looks fantastic. Man. I'm gonna be very mad, though, if the Disco Grenade's not back, because that's the best fucking weapon. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely what? didn't play enough Ratchet and Clank. The I need to play what? more. What's so, the best weapon? The disco grenade. So basically you throw a grenade, but instead of blowing up and exploding people, it just makes them dance. Yeah. I've That's seen it. so it's ridiculous. So I love it. I bet you that this trailer ends with them using that. I hope so. Oh my god, that riff mechanic is so cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what this reminds me of? The Scarecrow levels in the Arkham games. I mean, I mean, I hope not. I don't want to be. I don't want to be terrified. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> yeah, so scary. Good right now. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah. Ah, uh, no disco ball. Oh, cool. Damn it! Wait, it's not over yet. No, it's done. Yeah. Well, it was captured on a PS5. Yeah, they said, er they said early on, everything that we were seeing from now on is all captured on PS5. Yeah. Cool. Including this GIF. <laughs> Amazing PlayStation GIF. Watch it be that this they keep showing that, and that's the actual oh, startup boy. when you turn on the PS5. Now, what could this actually be? <gasps> it's Brilliant. luminous. It's, oh my god, those are the guys that made the new Final Fantasy engine way back when. Do you remember, Chris? Yes, yes. What, what, what uh, is this? Oh boy, you have Not my personal. attention, Square. We have shoes. We have what shoes. Oh. Oh, what is going on here? Wait a minute, is this that demo trailer they built before? It may be. Uh, it may be like an yeah, actual no, game to it. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh. Oh, I'm. Whoa. I'm wet. Like, I don't even know what else to say right now. Of course, it's a project name. God damn it, Square. Yeah. But they're definitely using... Yeah, the Luminous Engine was that demo that they built for... Oh my god, cool. that uh, dragon is amazing. So it may... Okay, with the Luminous Engine, it may suck. The game may suck, but it's going to be fucking sexy as shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, there's not much to it. I mean, for all we know, they'll somehow take seven years to make this and it'll end up being Final Fantasy 16 anyway, so... Yeah. It's, currently, it's Final Fantasy 13 4, but it will get... <laughs> Anna Perna. Final Fantasy 13 4 so, versus... Uh, Dead Space? Know, I don't know what these are. No, it's definitely not Dead Space. Oh, okay. No. I mean, it does have a <laughs> Dead Space look-ish to it. Minus the cats? No. That's a puppet. Oh, robot. Oh, he's a droid. Is it? Is, is is this like? Oh. Is this like Wally Cyberpunk? The yeah, one wall said "R.I.P. Humanity." Yep. I think only robots are left. Yeah, I, th cats. I think this is. Well, no, that looks like a human. Cyborg. Yep, there's a human. Is that cat wearing an outfit? Why not? I mean, for all you know, maybe it really is, like, just human human, humanity's gone. completely gone, and it's just the AI they left behind. Or we all transferred ourselves into AI. No, we're in the cat. Fuck it, I'll play a game where I'm a cat walking around robot land. Yeah, I know. You're if I don't get to be the cat, I'm gonna be really yeah. upset by this. That would be a cool platformer, just from looking at this. It looks like a... quite a... like a... Uh, oh, a it's so morose. cute! I want this cat. I'm morose. Yeah, I want that cat. Oh my god, his face. It is, de it is definitely a game about the cat. No, it's not it is definitely a cat game. I am already... Oh my god, it is oh. a cat game. It's about You're... the cat. 
It's a cat simulator. I, I'm in. You I'm, have my attention. You gave me a cat. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, that says 2021. That said Zozy. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Coming in Zozy, the cat. I mean, it does oh sound like God. some project name, doesn't it? Poor Zozy. Yeah. Uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So we're seeing okay. a little bit more about it. Ultra high speed SSD. Yeah, we know. We know that much. Ray tracing, we already know. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, AMD's finally bringing ray tracing to its graphics cards. That sexy controller that people still hate for some reason. I think it's gorgeous. If there's a black one, I'd prefer it, but I still Even think Even if the there white isn't right away, you know they'll make one. Yeah. White's the color right now for products because oh, it's so man, those, neutral. Oh, man, those triggers right are going to be so sweet, too. Yes, they are. Yeah. I love, too, that apparently the speakers... US, the USB C. Yep. It was USB C. Yep. Yep. Built in microphone triggers. That's what I'm interested in. The, the, the 3D jet. audio is what I really want to be interested about. Because, like, if they can make it affordable with the same, like, the same, like, blue, uh, the gold headsets you can get for PlayStation, if they can still make it that cheap and have this 3D audio, that will be incredible. Making yeah, that'd be cool. Seems to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able Is that to Billy Zane? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does, actually, now that you say it. <laughs> easy to unlock, and Dude, get off the Titanic. Really easy to develop on. <laughs> PS5 she has the necklace. A paradigm shift <laughs> as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will I can only see Billy Zane now. Make worlds, yeah. Billy Zane, just stop talking and let us know what game this is. Really I think he's just talking about the console. Yeah, it's the console. I get that, but I'd rather see the game, the game than exclusive. Billy. I want to see the goddamn console. Ooh, new franchise. Nice. Oh, this? Awesome. So it's original IP, all right. I'm on board with that. Oh, I thought this is the house mark thing. I knew that was coming. Who's house mark? I don't know, but I, the name kept popping up. Uh, it's Yoda's version of Mark's house. <laughs> All right, space and now not in space. Yep. Don't please don't be FPS. Please don't be oh, FPS. This this looks. Uh, oh, this, oh, don't yes. don't. Is it? If this is horror, I, I might be out. Yeah, all right. Oh, this out. is definitely horror. This is sci-fi horror. Oh, I get it. She keeps reliving the same moment. Dies, comes back. I mean, it still looks interesting. What the? Each time I awake. Ooh, her one eye is different color than the other. So she's reliving the same oh, okay, thing, but it keeps first, changing first, on her. This world is it it yeah. looks like Prometheus, the video game. Yeah, it fucking yeah. does. No, don't touch it! Oh, you idiot. What is this? Oh, Gladiator. <laughs> Are you not entertained? But I cannot lose hope. What the hell? Oh. Okay, that's a thing. Okay, so it's definitely a third-person shooter adventure thing. Awesome. Third-person horror adventure. Yeah, you, you are Big right, horror. though. This is definitely, like, a very Prometheus kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Created by Ridley Scott. I mean, fuck, would we be surprised at this point? No, I would actually be uh, very I much be entirely not. honest, this is something he would make. All right, that is a stupid fucking title, though. Return Returnal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Might as well just call it, like, Max Payne yeah. 5 or something. It sound, that sounds like a porn. It's like Returnal. The return to anal. Thank you for now probably demonetizing this video that's not demonetized. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry about that. Because I can totally monetize this video with my, like, no subscribers. <laughs> Ooh. What's Sonic that? Racing? It, it, wait, is this something like Sonic? I was kidding. What but is I know this? Sumo Digital does do the Sonic Racing games. What the? Wait, is this? What the is it, fuck is this? It's so oh, adorable. Oh, oh, okay. Now it makes sense. 
Little Big Planet. Uh, uh. It has been a while, so it makes sense. I mean, Little Big Planet games as a whole, I've never been into, but I can definitely see why a lot of people would. Yeah. There was no story oh. or anything. It was just like. This seems to be more of a platformer now. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, got like it's definitely got Super Mario 3D Land kind of vibes to it. Yeah, like they, I think they kind of pulled back on the creative part of it. Which would make sense too, because I think, you know, at some point, you, like you can't just keep making games where people make games and hope that they create the content for you. Yeah. Like I'm noticing that's already happened with Dreams because no one's talking about Dreams anymore. Yeah. Even though it's, it is a really cool tool, but it's just. It only works as well as the people that create for it, so. Yeah, this is really a mix of, this is like Mario Odyssey almost. Yeah. Yeah, it has much more of just a 3D platformer. Yeah. Compared to, yeah, it's it's def it's definitely oh, like player. it's definitely staying on a, on a specific thing and go and sticking with it. Yeah, it looks like this one actually is going to be a platformer with a story mode even. Plus some co-op. Yep. <laughs> All right, what do we got next here? All right, well, this is definitely going to be some sort of weird multiplayer mashup thing. All right, I'm Rock already, I'm already, I'm already down for Luchadors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a wrestling game. Nah. So what kind of game are we Wait, is this gonna be like a, oh, no, no, this is, oh, what is this? So, okay, so they're trying to do something with Rocket League, maybe? So, so it's like Demo Derby sort of deal. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd be down for this. This looks like Wait, why fun. are you, why are you running on your feet? What, 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 what? Why? Oh, you could probably run out and. and oh, so maybe if your car gets destroyed. Oh, if your car blows up, you jump out, yeah. Oh, this looks awesome. This looks like a full of battle royale game. Yeah, this looks like battle royale with cars. Yeah. Battle uh, cars, and you can get out of your car. But guys, don't forget, all these skins will cost you fifteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. That that means the game could be free to play. I mean, if I mean, if yeah, that's a good possibility actually. Yeah. This yeah, I has that kind of vibe it should be, and then you pay for the different. I do. I will say I do love the art style, and I love this concept. I would definitely this be playing as the Luchador. These are de if I can, these are if I can not have to pay for the Luchador suit, I will get the fucking Luchador suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. The cars have like cool little powers and stuff you can activate. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely made by the guys who made Rocket League, though. I feel. No, it's definitely not. No. Yeah. It's not. No, because it, it said it was a PlayStation Studios, didn't it? Yeah, no, Psyonix is the guy who made Rocket Stars. League. They did not get touched here. Yeah. Destruction All Stars. It's like uh, that, that's that the, that's, PlayStation All Stars. Maybe that's the closest to PlayStation All Stars we get. Yeah. That would be a, a great substitute for Hello, it. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Queer, and this is my brother mm -hmm. Mike. We're from Ember Lab. It was like Fortnite mixed with Twisted Metal. Oh, well, no, great. Now, now there are two of them. The first look at our new game. Oh, shit. They were cloned in the lab. They're both from that lab. Bitch, that is so racist. How dare you? So please enjoy. <laughs> I'm not being racist. I'm just saying. There could be clones. Brothers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Why? Just because it said my brother? No, it said Greer is the last name for both of them. Yeah, he introduced him as his brother, though. Um, this is... <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. See what I said about Pixar? This is yeah, this is adorable. Half. This is adorbs. Is this like they're they're oh the, dude, this is legit like Pixar to me. Holy shit. Oh uh, shit, man. I'm getting I'm getting like that that uh part in Frozen where they're in the forest with the trolls. Yeah. That's a vibe. It's nope. major Disney vibes. Oh wait, isn't this it's like Onward almost now. Yeah. Is this the game I'm thinking of already? Is this of Monsters and Men or am I mixing this up with something else? Or is this its own Monsters thing? and Men, I think, was Ubisoft? No. Yeah, I think you're right on that front. It, it just reminds me a lot of it right now. Yeah. 
Uh oh. What are you? You you're. I'm kind of intrigued now by this. This is definitely based on some sort of fairy tale or folklore story. From oh, like oh, for forward. sure. Wow, this is gorgeous. Holy shit! Cool. This is one of those like feel good games. For I don't sure. know. Like again, I don't know if this is the kind of thing I end up playing unless it was like on for free or cheap. But like. This is oh, gonna I, be I, this is gonna be really I, cool for kids. Like legit, this would I be a totally great game see for kids. You enjoying this game, dude? I would love this, and I would honestly. I'm well, very only, excited about this game. The only reason that I'm saying uh, I might not just is just because I think there's gonna be such a myriad of stuff that comes before it that it might be like a long time before I get to it. I feel like you would. This is, looks like a game you would enjoy, and it's totally your style and gameplay even. Why? Because there. Why? Because there's like an anime girl sort of in it. No, it's anime. It's very um, fantastical, and yeah. it looks like Kina. I mean, I would definitely Either. pay. I would pay attention to, it, but I don't think I would be rushing to play this. I actually really want to play that one. That one's yeah, in my like top three so far. That's uh, but I wonder if it's gonna be like a open world platformer or if it's like quite. No, I don't. I, I would imagine this is gonna be more level based. Yeah, I think yeah. that was a level based three D. I don't know what's going on here, but these graphics are interesting. You ever Studio Ghibli? Like just waiting for a sign. <laughs> Drinking on a beach, Studio Ghibli? Speaking of anime looking. To do that thing you've always meant to do. This is just an anime. It's, uh... Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Alright, well the furries are gonna have fun with this one. Yep. But something's... Oh boy! Back. It's... Maybe it's... Are they dinosaurs? Just... Yeah, they're dinosaurs. Maybe that, now they are. It. Yeah, they're dinosaurs. High school dinosaur sim. All right. Like right now, I'm thinking, okay, what's the game, guys? Because this is just looking like a TV show right now. But if we've got nothing else. I think this one might be like a sim. like a strange kind of game. Wait, it could be. Like this definitely These does. Could th be cut this could be cutscene. This definitely has like visual novel Fighter. to me, and I just I just want to see what the game is to this. Yeah. Goodbye, Volcano High. Let's see the... Volcano High. <laughs> Coop. You're not going to show anything, are you? No. No, you're not showing anything. They're just going based on hype from just a little All bit. All right. Well, it looks it looks fine, but I mean, I want, I want to know what the hell you are first. I think the furries are freaking the fuck out right now. And that's what they were basing it on. Like, let's put the furry one out there. At right. least it was short. Hi, I'm Lauren Lamb. Yeah, I'm here to but share with you a game that I've It's like is it a movie? Is it a game? It's it's hard to tell. Story. We're rescuing it's rewarding. Failure Go away. devastating. Not George Lucas. The memories should last you a lifetime. He just looks <laughs> like a basic what's it called? A basic I think we're like, getting I think we're in a bit of an indie run right now. I think this is the middle of it where it's a bunch of indie stuff and then we'll get to the big stuff at the end. Yeah. Oh, this is um Oh my god, what's the fucking... Abe, Abe... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abe Vigdotis and, and Oddworld. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I haven't seen Oddworld in forever. Oh my god. Oddworld bad guys got hardcore. Squidward? Yeah. It's up to you. <laughs> this game looks really Oddworld oh, is a is... really interesting game. Really, really cool. It's like really out there. Yeah, it's it is. World. Wow, that yeah. looks nice. Yeah. It is does. it rated M? No. It'll no. probably it'll probably T. Yeah. But it, this game is a lot darker than what I was expecting. Mm. I thought it'd be like a little campy, but no, this is yeah. Dark. They're, they're kind of dark, but like not rated M dark. Oh, okay. At least they the weren't. Music dark. is torture. As in, like, something bad's gonna happen in this music. I think it is happening. Get up here. Alright, alright. Oh, he's cutting those things finally. Soul Star. Man, Oddworld's been around a while. I remember playing the first one on the first Xbox. 
Oh shit, it's Shinji Mikami. Who is he? I believe that's Evil Within, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Oh, that horror game. I have that game. I still haven't finished it. I'm gonna just double check, because I'm pretty sure... I'm afraid I'm gonna spoil myself in about two uh, seconds. Ghostwire Tokyo, as he just said it. Oh yeah, so yeah, it is Evil Within, so I wasn't crazy. Ghostwire Tokyo was that weird one that we saw last year at E3 yeah. for, uh... I think yeah. it was Bethesda? A bunch of people just randomly disappeared or died Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think this was Bethesda? It was either Bethesda or Ubisoft, I just can't remember which one it was. I want to say Bethesda, I've but... heard of that place. You see things <laughs> yes. others can't. So I guess we might actually get real gameplay for this one this time, which I'm very interested in, because... I think it, wasn't this the one that that, uh, that one Japanese girl got really over with the crowd for? Yes, yeah. Uh, Ikumi Nakamura, I believe her name was? Yeah. Whoa, that's okay, that's you creepy. Mean internet waifu? That's fucking creepy. I'm done. I'm oh, out. Oh, why? <laughs> There's no way in fuck I'm playing this. I'm still, like, as, as, as much as this game is creeping me out, I actually am really interested in what this actually is. It looks really, really cool. Okay, I I seriously like what I'm seeing. Japanese horror is oh, just the next person. level. But this doesn't doesn't necessarily seem horror to me, like. No, not anymore. With the gameplay, it's like it's got Black Mirror vibes. Yeah. But then again, so does real life right now. So. Also true. I mean, it would definitely scare me at some point playing this game. There's no doubt about oh, that, that. Oh, good God, that was horrifying. Yeah. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> oh, it's, like a Ma it's got Matrix vibes to it as well. Yeah, with I was thinking Matrix. Face. Even just the word, way Face came in. It had a Matrix the unknown, yeah. like style to it. This looks sick. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that does look sick. Ghostwire Tokyo. Yep, that. Oh, Bethesda. Yeah, it's right at the end there. Yeah. Yeah, this will be one of my. If I get this game, it'll be a lot later. Alright, now what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Crisscross. It's gonna make you jump. Make you jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Not down, what? not down with this graphic. It's very, it's Samurai Jack style. Wait, is this Samurai Jack? No, it's definitely not. I don't know. I don't remember what Samurai Jack looked like outside of the box art for... I know this music. Super Brothers, they did Sword and Sorcery. Wait, is this Sword and Sorcery 2? Because <laughs> the music is from Sword and Sorcery. And I still listen to it. On Spotify. Sword and Sorcery in Space. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, this can't be Sword and Sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> Literally one person walking around with a sword with, like, pixelated graphics. Fantastic game by Super Brothers. Fantastic. It was in the first Humble Bundle I ever bought. Year Zero. So I guess it's us starting a new... Go journeying for a new planet, I guess? Maybe? Oh, no. Looks like it. Yeah, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. This nine. is how long it took for us to travel to the Sword and Sorcery 2 planet. <laughs> Honestly, if this is connected to Sword and Sorcery, I'm going to be flabbergasted. That'd make no sense. I'm getting like Journey and Flower vibes from this so yeah. far. This music is pretty much direct from Sword and Sorcery. That's the part that's like tripping me up. Like, if what I'm looking at is the gameplay, I'm not down with this, but I can definitely see this being, yeah. a, being the kind of game that, like... I'd the, play this. The gaming press are going to go fucking bananas over. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. we go. The far short. I'm not down with this graphic style, though. Yeah, no. I, I'm... It's an indie game. Like, I'm... It, it's... Super Brothers is definitely a indie studio. I'm confused about that. Trailer. They're very artsy games. Like, the Sword and Sorcery game was extremely artsy. Extremely. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually excited for that game. Alright, Gearbox, so this would be uh, Godfall immediately. 
Godfall. Yeah, this this was the first announced game for PS5 ever. Which upon cool. upon looking at it, I'm like, all right, looks cool, but it's just a hack and slash. I don't I don't see yeah. any like amazing breakthrough on it. Yeah, no, this seems. It looks like a basic hack and slash. Yeah, it, like it's again, all, it's all it's. All I look at this game honestly, and this is not meant to like take a shot of Gearbox or anything, but this is the kind of game that you always see the first year of a console to show yeah. it off. I don't know if this is going to be a game that we're going to talk about, you know, when this is all said and done. I don't think this is going to be a game that we're going to be like, man, do you remember Godfall? What an amazing game that was. That changed gaming. It's going to be yeah, just a game that you're like, yeah, it's this cool. This game is going to be that long either. I think it's going to probably be like 10 hours max. No, yeah, it, does, it doesn't look like something that would be like really in depth. No. Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to play this for longer than that anyways. I mean, yeah. who knows? We could be wrong, but like that, those are the vibes that I do get from it. Yeah. It looks Maybe like a um It looks like a discount God of War. The well, background yeah, it's it's it's, looks it's really, a really god good. fall, more like god fail because you can't be better than God of War. Oh no. tip your way. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll be it'll be a launch night. title. Something's yeah, got something's gotta show it off, so yeah. I'm not I'm not against it. I'm just like I'm looking at it being like, look, I don't think this is gonna be a game that everybody's gonna need to rush after. Yeah. Was Ratchet and Clank a launch title? Uh, I don't remember. I do Ooh, Hyper Light Drifter, you have my attention. I'm currently playing through this. All right, it's, so they so they they, Hyper Light Drifter they, too. <laughs> so they stole the black hole from Interstellar. You're not supposed uh, to go into the black hole. I mean, it's the fractured but hole. Ah. Uh, so this is just Hyper Light Drifter too. So you're with so you're skating in a black hole. Enough. All right. Oh, and now we got into blood somehow. Oh. What the hell is this? Oh, if indie you, games, you're Hyper always... Drifter, you'd be like, yeah, no, this is that. Yeah. Oh, this boy. It's exactly Hyper Light Drifter, only Hyper Light Drifter was, like, pixelated art style. This is nicer, much nicer looking. Wow, the hair movements are beautiful. Yeah. It almost, it almost looks, looks like... like it looks spectral almost, doesn't it? Yeah. Or like smoke? Yeah. I mean, oh, this is, that, that looks what really Hyper Light, good. Yeah. Like this really is what Hyperlight pretty. would be like if it wasn't a 2D game. Oh, that's trippy. Okay, did, yeah. is the audio very surround-like, even with just headphones right now? That's why they said put headphones on for this presentation, because yeah. they did some work with it. Yeah, it lets yeah, sound. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing good. it this time. I wonder if that's like all console or all platforms or if that's going to be only PlayStation. Well, it, de it depends because they're going to have a specific 3D audio system for their headphones too, right? Oh, no, so sorry, I meant the uh, Hyperlight Drifter oh, sequel. I, could, <laughs> I, could, not I couldn't tell you. No. Oh, uh, here we go. Get some Hitman going on. Yeah, this hat. Cool. Wait, is it Hitman? Oh, it definitely yeah, is. It's yeah, it's him. It was always going to end like Lol. this. <laughs> All your hard work. Oh, is this is this like an end of an era kind of hitman? This is what I'm getting. This is the vibe I'm getting. What the hell? What happened to just like Hitman One and Two that were seasons that were recent? This seems a lot more hardcore than those. This is season three. Yeah. Oh, he's taking them all down. It looks like they're coming to hunt him back down, so this could be a whole different kind of game. Oh, this could be a revenge story as well. It's gonna end like this. Like, it was always gonna end like this between you and I. Yeah. Well then. Only death awaits. This looks good. Like a movie. Yeah, Hitman 3, go figure. Yeah. Oh, so it is just the third one. Yep. Now, is Hitman got bought by a new studio? I mean, either way, it's it's still an interesting premise because it looks less like you're just going to be assassinating and now you might be on the run this time as well. Yeah. I like the I music for it. Yeah, that was sick. That was, that was a good track. Agent 47 is back for his most From law and professional contract. <laughs> so it was IO Interactive. Okay. This no, it's not IO, I, but it's low. For the it's low. Trip. This guy is Hitman. I'm so proud to be here mm. to present a little glimpse. He has a beard, though. Agent 47 oh, true. is on top of the world. He's undercover. 
Enjoy. Oh yeah, you Enjoy. you have a point. Please All right, so here, so here comes some gameplay. See Xbox, this is what's he supposed to happen when you yeah, show it's, trailers. It's actual gameplay. Yeah. He completely changes appearance with that beard. So this is the conclusion to the trilogy. So the last two games. This is the third and final. It's what I took from what he said. I would never walk, I'd fall. Nope, nope, nope. Absolutely nope. not. What is this shit? Yeah, sure. No problem. Overcome your fear of height simulator. <laughs> uh, even looking at that height and TV or gaming, just since all right, all right. Fine. If that's all you got, hit man. That didn't help anything. Thanks, guys. No, that, that, that was it. That was a real was great a reveal, bit. there, guys. I mean, they did <laughs> technically have some gameplay. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa! This is the UI. That's the that's the be... UI. <gasps> I think they're gonna have to change that title when it yes. comes out eventually. Show Death me the away. pretty oh, screen. It. Damn it. And fade out. Damn it. Tell oh, it's the it. robot. Oh, they made a game with a robot. <laughs> oh, this is like a PlayStation Home or like a. Like when the Nintendo comes out. Yeah, the Wii. System. Yeah. The Wii version. Like Nintendo Land. Wait, no, no, this is a one, game. Two, Switch. God damn it, Sony, you fucking tease. Be like, oh, tiny little bit of UI here, and then show me a robot game. God damn you assholes. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be, like, this is definitely a PlayStation it's... game where PlayStation is within Astro. it. It may, it may, it may even be, like, it's it called, they call it the playroom, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know if it's a game or just like the, the home area from PS3. All right, Japan Studio now. What do we got here? Or was Japan Studio what just made that little playroom thing? I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, Japan Studio is already done. This is a different thing. <laughs> what the fuck? What is the fuck is indie. with these gra- What the hell is going on? Um. <laughs> what the wow. Fuck? I have questions. <laughs> Lots of questions. <laughs> this game doesn't look complete. It looks yeah. like it's still a demo, like, a test animations. It's all no, over it's the place. Like it's really like all over the place. Mobile. Like, it's Lego or, or or Playmobile or whatever that really kid version of Lego is. Yeah, Playmobile. Yeah, yeah. This looks so incomplete. I, I, I'll, I just really want to take a shot of the people who edited this. So you guys need to chill out and kind of let some of these scenes go a little longer because this is ridiculous. <laughs> We just went from I'm getting attacked by an octopus to shooting a bear's asshole. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> isn't that normal life? I, I don't think so. Is this like The Hobbit or some weird-ass fucking version of it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, where The Hobbit moves to the big city. And the uh, creepy old man is chasing after him. I, I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Oh, I can't, I can't, is... I can't cement my down, myself down enough to figure out what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually super interested in this game for some reason. Only because you want to really know like what the art though. Okay, he just dropped a literal bomb. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Like I said, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think that's I the really only reason like my curiosity is coming in no here. Reason. Oh god. It's like a the, Tim Burton movie. The Cheshire Cat also just came to attack him. Yeah. This is so Tim Burton. Yes. Yeah, it's like a Tim Burton movie. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna have to show my girlfriend this. She's gonna fucking love this design. Oh, she, you're yeah. gonna, uh, she's gonna want lightning? this game. Was that lightning on his back? <laughs> True Final crossover. Fighter. Little devil inside. inside. Huh. I'll just have to convince her to come out of her house now that we've upped the limit What's to up, ten everyone? people. I'm Zion Williams yeah. New Orleans. Oh, NBA. Here we go. First ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Wait, is that actually him or the graphics? Because I can't tell. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> no, that's him. Please, and it's NBA Jam. It's NBA No, Jam. it's NBA 2K21. Yeah. I'm saying you're not ready for this, so it, it's just like I'm ready AKA for any NBA game. AKA potentially NBA slot machines to 2021. It, it, it says NBA 2K1 in the bottom. Well, we're, I'm going to have to just keep talking endlessly because this is going to get copywritten so yeah, fucking hard. I know, and also, it's not only going to show players who are on the 
popular teams, they will not. They, of course, they usually just respect the Raptors like they always do in the NBA and in America. And I'm trying to help out with the copyright violations by talking <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> this is actually not sensible about like, this it. Isn't game play, I, but actually, this isn't actually. I know it's not gameplay. It just look, like look, look, it's really look. a nice visual simulation. And all NBA games are it's just new graphics. All right, look, all right, all right, all right, all right. Vish, and they're not Vish, even there. Vish, yep. Vish, Vish. I was trying to help with the copyright stuff. <laughs> it worked. It worked. The reality is, too, it's it's a fucking sports game. They don't need to see the gameplay, because the gameplay doesn't change. <laughs> yeah. Maybe slightly, because you saw you can see sweat better on Zion now than you could ever before, because that is definitely worth All right, worth Strawberry the, the video $8. game. Oh, wow, Pick I me. wasn't I wasn't even wrong. I wasn't That's even strawberry. fucking oh wrong. Um, what the f- Strawberry crabs. Amazing. What Is the fuck strawberry? am I staring at? How do you poop? Guys, what the hell? guys, did I actually, like, smoke some weed beforehand? Because I think I might have smoked some weed beforehand. Hamburger? Did I ask you some through the microphone? I, I don't know, but I'm scared. Okay, seals oh, don't eat comes. strawberries. Okay, oh, this game is inaccurate. What the? No, 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 Chris. Guys, that strawberry was alive, so he was. It's actually, it was actually. Oh. What? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Nope, no, you have my attention. If you tell me this is made by the guys who made Octodad, I am interested. Uh, okay, yeah. What's Octodad? Oh, suit like a really, really fun, silly game. Wait, as he or she eats stuff, they beat you are the stuff. So it's so it's like Mario Odyssey, but eating shit. I want to become a donut. <laughs> Caterpillar was a fucking sub. <laughs> okay, th this is super fucking cute. Chris, yeah, if now, you're a donut, are you flexible enough to eat yourself, though? Oh, uh, I don't know. I might be a little too sexual. Oh, uh, he's gonna. Oh, now he's turning into a burger. Come join me on the island of. She ate the burger and got a curly fry for an arm. Oh my god, it's a cinnamon roll snail. <laughs> yeah, this this is gonna be another really fun one for kids. <laughs> Bug snacks. This is like a kid's so, so. show. I'm surprised this isn't a TV uh -oh. show. Uh-oh. What's coming? You don't hold the shot unless something's coming. It's the hamburglar. No, it's all the uh, different foods. If I'm being honest, I was somehow expecting like rabbits or something to just suddenly pop oh. in there too. <laughs> yeah, the rabbits. Yeah, <laughs> they're just in everything. Why not? I keep thinking it's console, but it's just like the shape of the square. Well, it's something went black and white, so I'm suspicious. Yeah. What went black and white? Like it's there's it's not a blue color anymore, so now I'm curious. The video we're all watching together, X Men. <laughs> That's what it is. Anyway. Yeah, it's Shuya Yoshida. This could actually be the console. Very special event. Oh yeah. Before we get to the end of the show, I have something very Thanks, near Yoshida. and dear to me. Show us, you monster! <laughs> oh, okay, so it's some. Oh, okay, so this is another new thing they're about to show us. All right, what do you got? Final Fantasy VIII remake. <laughs> wow, this is very pretty. Is that? Wow. Guys, <gasps> Mountain Simulator. Yes. Tomb Raider. No, this is definitely not Tomb Raider. It's no, safe. definitely not. This is all. Oh, fantastic. there's people. Oh, no. Get out of. Could people. this be Get God of War, them. guys? That it looks like a. Could be. Game. The music sounds familiar. No, maybe not. No, no, definitely. Well, no. No. That wasn't Kratos. Mortal of War. Are they trying to make a Souls game now? This is very Soulsy. Elder Scrolls 6. Look, there's giant monsters. I'm still suspicious. This could still be God of War somehow. Yeah. Attack on Titan Medieval Edition. 
No, but then it would, um... Oh, I know, I know. At this oh, point... Oh, that's so cool. What the hell is that? Demon Souls remake... Oh, boy. People are gonna freak at this. Oh, it's Demon Souls. Oh, people are gonna freak out at that. When was the last time Demon Souls was on a console? PS3. So they've remade oh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, people... that was... oh, Souls fans are gonna piss themselves. Is yeah, it like... Is, is it a, like a... Legit full out remake, or is it like I don't know. It could be it, it could ground. be a remaster for all I know. I don't know. It doesn't say there, right? Arcane Studios. Why is this familiar to me? A surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. Why does he look like Smash Sally Tessio from Godfather? I don't know. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> Okay, that is Destiny vibes to me, and I know it's not Destiny, but still. It's Halo. <laughs> yeah, Halo's coming to PlayStation. That's an interesting way to load a gun. Yeah, I think it was the first-person shooter they mentioned. The Purge. Okay. This is, this is, hmm. I'm almost getting the vibes of like Bioshock and We Happy Few getting mixed together into a shooter. I, I'm thinking oh, wait. serious. Oh, wait. Isn't Arcane, isn't Arcane the Dishonored? No, Arcane's not Dishonored. Fuck, I'm mixing shit up again. I think it's Serious it. Sam. Do you remember that game? Back um, day? That guy just disappeared after he died. All right, phone. I need you to work for hell? me again. Arcane Studios. Oh, it is Dishonored. I'm fucking right. Again. Oh, this is a Dishonored game. Well, it might not be Dishonored. Or it, may be, be, it may be a new IP. Them. But it is the guys yeah. that made Dishonored. Ah. Ooh, time yeah, loops. Can't. Okay, so yeah, that's... My brain just went, okay, I'm I forgot that they didn't put the Sony Studios logo in. So... I was just assuming a lot of this was first-party stuff, but no, this is, uh, this is a Bethesda game. Hmm. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. Never ending party. We're hunting me. I've never really been big into the Dishonor games, but if if this is a lot more like just action and less stealth, I'd definitely be more curious about it. Because that was my problem with Dishonor. I don't like the stealth aspect to it very much. Yeah, it's not as fun. If this is more action packed, I'm definitely down because this looks fucking sick. Yeah, it does look oh, really cool. Oh yeah. If it, if this is the actual game in full, oh yeah, I am so in for this. This looks fucking fun as hell. Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me hmm. a million times. But eventually, you, never you know, if this was a movie, the main guy would be played by Jamie Foxx, and the girl would be played by Zoe Saldana. Oh, Deathloop, that's right! I forgot about that. Was this already mentioned? Yeah, they mentioned it like last year at E3 at Bethesda. I don't think they showed any gameplay, though. I think it was just a cinematic oh, trailer last why. time. Oh, that's okay. So it's basically oh, it's basically a game where you constantly have to relive, I think, things again until you finally complete the mission that you need to do. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But yeah, this this I was interested in this last year. I am definitely really into this now. I just love the like, I love the aesthetic to it. Really cool. I don't like watching you. <laughs> By Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Oh, so you can play as as the woman too, or maybe it's. I wonder if it could be a two player thing where it's like a story game that you can play against each other. Yeah, maybe. That would be interesting. So we're just about at an hour, so we're definitely getting close to the end here. Yeah, we're we're at the end game now. <laughs> we're in the Infinity War now. Oh wait, I know what that font. No. His story comes to a close. All right, so this is obviously somebody we've heard. That font was familiar. Okay, wait, maybe. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Blair Witch 8. I, I got my guard up for a sec because the font was very Kingdom Heartsy for a sec. And now that I'm like, this is definitely not that. <laughs> they wouldn't they've, do just that full, they've just gone full horror with it. Fuck it. <laughs> 
I mean, it would make sense. A story, you, you, could, you can do anything to that story now, and it probably works. Yeah. Um, someone left their potatoes out. What is this? Yeah. I'm thinking of... Uh, Hmm. This girl lady has a Karen haircut. <laughs> no, no, it's friendly. It's friendly. Don't open that. Oh, wait a minute. They're coming. Who is? This might a quiet place. <laughs> My brain just thinking Resident Evil Eight. Oh, That's what I'm thinking. this is totally Resident Evil 8. I heard a rumor a few but weeks ago that it story? was going to be shown here. Whose story is coming to a close? The guy from 7. Oh, okay. Resident Evil I 7. I mean, we still could be wrong here, but... No, this is totally no, no. Resident Evil. But this looks very Victorian and... Uh, That's the thing, like, I'm having a hard time yeah. figuring it out. Oh, wait, did I think that was the umbrella sign that we just saw. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh. oh yeah so the guy from seven ends up in europe and there's like werewolves or something now that umbrellas made because of course like they went with a victorian theme and and then apparently like jeff ridges is playing a guy <laughs> yeah so jeff Bridges. He's the dude what? so umbrella werewolves that's that's terrifying yeah there we go all that yeah yeah, that's definitely it. Just from the font now, that is definitely it. Yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, village. Wait, is it Resident Evil Village or Village Resident Evil? Jesus, Chris. Yeah, because at the... Oh. Was that Chris Redfield and he just killed a guy and Ethan... Is upset? Yeah, probably. Okay. All right. Oh, this feels like the console. Because of the white with the well, blue Well, they keep now. changing the shape so many times that I can only wonder, right? Yeah. I still, think we, feels... I still think we need one big bombshell oh to end God. it. Oh, hello. Hello. The Division Three? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh, kills him. He looks Resistance? like he's—he looks like he's. Oh, he looks like he was delivering something. I was just gonna make the joke. It's—it's it's the new. It's Death Stranding Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute. Wait, this reminds me of something where they had to shoot. Oh no, that's. I'm thinking the Final Fantasy Spirits Within movie. Oh. That's what this is. No, nope, <laughs> Final Fantasy. They finally made the game version of it. Yeah. Final Fantasy 16. Ghost cats. Ah. Um. Glitchy ghost cats. <laughs> it's like an AI hologram cat. Then no, it's not what I think it is. The Last of Us Three. <laughs> the last of Last of Us suddenly got futuristic. Holy shit. <laughs> the mushrooms got smarter. Oh, it's like an AI or something. What the hell is going on? This is some Christopher Nolan shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, it's Tenet, the game. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to me, spider monkey. I for a second thought the girl was going to transform into a robot. I'm like, oh, this could be the most Japanese shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's called Transformers, Adam. <laughs> the humans don't transform. And Transformers Wait, 2, they did. Okay, yeah, we, I've never heard of this before. I think no, the girl was, was a real... Yeah. Pragmata. Pragmata. Yeah, I've never heard of this. Unless it's unless it's somehow related to Nier Auto Automata. <laughs> Good, they got to the moon. Oh, really I'm, I'm getting uh, Bioshock vibes now. Coming in two years, all right. That's as much work time, on the game time's, game. time's a click in Sony. Where's the big one? Come on. Everything, everything Come on, needs to, everything needs a disclaimer. And he's saying coming 2022. 
if the world hasn't ended. Yeah, that's true. We might not even make it to the launch. We better. I want to play Ghost of Tsushima. Well, that's a PlayStation symbol now, so now I'm definitely interested. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay. All right, orig go, original studios go. again. Okay, what do you got this time? Oh, it's another game? Jesus. All right, so, wrong. I like so, it so this is SIE. Okay. I think I know this is... What's it going to be? We got 10 minutes. Uh -huh. Okay. This is, uh, honestly feels a little uncharted. This, this is me. Horizon. This is 100% Horizon. Oh, it's got to be. This is Horizon 2. Please be a launch title. That is Aloy's voice. That is 100% Horizon 2. Oh, shit. Come on, Holiday 2020. I'll play through the one on PC, and then I'll have this to play at launch. If we're getting water in Horizon oh, 2... Oh, Finding Nemo! Oh, my God, that would be beautiful. <laughs> finding Nemo. No, just keep swimming. Just keep... Horizon 2, just keep swimming. Horizon 2, <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> under the sea. Ew. Yeah, oh, uh. my God, I'm so fucking ready for this. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. For any anyone who thinks that you can't put a female lead, uh, this game tells you to fuck the hell off. No, fuck. Fix the fuck. Oh man, this was more, this What's was the... without question the best IP they did last generation. Well, I guess technically this generation still. <laughs> yes, still technically. Hopefully they they is tell. Is that a robot or is oh, that? Oh yeah. A... Oh yeah, that's a robot. Hopefully they'll tell you, Chris, too, if they're gonna if they're gonna put a Horizon on PC, if they give you a date as well for that, that'd be nice. That would be cool if they threw it in there. It's supposed to be June or July. Man, underwater, oh, you're swimming. dude, underwater oh, Horizon. Wow. I am so fucking ready for that. Underwater this ruins for that. Insane. Oh, this just jumped into my top three for sure. I'm surprised this should be in the top two. Oh, believe me, it'll be number one for Actually, you as soon as soon as you play the game. You'll be your number one. The oh only thing that could God. compete with this is Spider-Man, but that's only because I've played Spider-Man and not Horizon yet. Oh my God, this is amazing. This mission is mine alone. Oh. Oh, it looks pretty. Guys, I'm gonna need new pants. Oh shit! It's just to stop what's coming. Oh hi, Keith David. His name is Goliath. <laughs> oh, this game's gonna be so sick. Oh, they got Ooh. friggin' flying robots now. Oh! Forbidden West. Ooh, I like that name. Uh oh. Uh oh. Going to the West Side. Oh the my hell god, that is awesome. Oh, oh shit, it's those elephants from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it totally is. The hell yes. Oh. Nice. I'm glad for all that she kept her Bluetooth headset the entire team at Gorilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon. Isn't it amazing though how like the end shot is the same thing that Zelda Breath of the Wild did where she's got the bow cranked? Yeah. Yeah. But dangerous frontier mess with mysterious new threats. Uh, Get ready to explore distant lands. So, uh, by massive I kind of feel like I want to play Resident Evil 7 now because majestic world the story with Chris Thank coming to a close when we can't wait uh, I can tell you uh, as a no. matter of fact Chris is basically not in 7. He's literally there as like a like a cameo. He's not anything. Yeah, he has nothing to do with the story really. I think well, it's Ethan's fun. quest comes to a close. The guy from 7, I think he's only in 7 and 8. No, I think it is going to be Chris, because Chris has been in the series for ever. And this is a continuation of the original story, so you might as well end the story of Chris Redfield. No matter who they are. I mean, we'll probably end up seeing uh, more of a Resident Evil 4's remake as well soon as well. Yeah. I, that's all but confirmed. Yeah, we just haven't seen anything yet. We can't wait to share them with you. It's, it's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about as a developer, that's an amazing feeling. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. We, we've heard a million we stories about how developers love this thing. Show it. Show it, you son of a bitch. No, it is not a sphere. Show me the goddamn thing. Imagine it is just a sphere. <laughs> 
It's made of balloons. Oh shit! So so appar the apparently the console is made of the proto molecule. <laughs> it's um, the that is nanotech that uh, from uh, Wakanda. Yeah. So yeah, appar apparently, apparently the PlayStation Five is going to be an ever constant motion. <laughs> That's I would be terrified. So oh my god! Remember, Adam, we're behind you by about three seconds. I know. Guys, it looks like a giant penis. It looks like a really cool PC tower. What kind <laughs> of? I really hope it's not a PC tower. I mean, if it has to be, I guess it has to be, but make it something yeah. that I can put on my TV stand and not have to have it stand up. Here it comes. I feel it. Roll. So Winds, the waves are spreading. The ocean. Make it a V. Come on, be a V anyway, just for fun. I want it to be a V, just for myself. It kind of. Oh, okay. That is, is that is interesting. Whoa. Yeah. So it looks like a Star so Wars. So it's gonna have to stand up. All right, I might need a separate table for this. You can probably put it on its side, because even the Xbox Series X, they've come out saying it can totally go on its side. I don't know if I wanted to though, looking like that. Yeah. I know that is. Oh uh, really yeah, sick. it's more it's more curvatured this time. It's gonna take a moment to get used to, but I don't hate it immediately. That's that's the only good sign. I like it. Oh, they're about to show some of the ports. Fuck. So there's a USB C and a USB normal USB A on the front. There's one of each. Yeah, right there I would definitely front. not lay that flat. I, it would look so weird to me flat. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it is kind of like yeah, a small PC it, tower. It doesn't <laughs> look like a gaming system. It looks like a nice, yeah. beautiful, sexy art piece. Yeah, like, I feel like... Yeah. Yeah, so... It's... Sexy. Oh, they're going to announce a second one that's two terabyte, aren't they? Digital? No, discless. Oh, so yeah. they're going to make digital a cheaper only. one for digital. Good. Good. That's what I've been saying for a while. If you want to make it make it possible, make the option available for people. Ooh, I wonder if I'd go digital. I don't think I, I, I don't, don't think I would because I wouldn't want to take the chance of uh, there ne of there always being like an amazing price for a digital or a, or a physical copy on like Amazon or something. Yeah. Oh, look at the headset. I mean, it would depend on the price, right? That would be the, that would be the key factor. Oh, media remote. Cute little remote. Wow. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our Maybe I will today. go all white. You've seen our most all right, but are they going to give us one last little tease? And you've seen games yeah. that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. Listen, at PlayStation, we believe weird looking Gordon Ramsay. Show us another game. <laughs> I'm holding it's up totally for it, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it ending here because they at least did the one thing I wanted them to do, and they actually showed me a little bit more than I was expecting. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, they got Spider Man and Horizon. Oh. Tons more to share. Welcome. There's one more. PlayStation Five. No, I thought he. I thought he was gonna say something else, like uh, maybe a release date, but then it, then he just kind of changed into something else. It's holiday 2020. We know that. Okay. Aloy. I mean, it's it's Horizon. Oh, was Horizon a launch title? I didn't see a date. I don't remember. A date. I don't think they said a date yet. But I mean, they got time to they got time to announce that shit. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man was a launch title. But whatever comes. I will be ready. So assuming this is about to end, I'm just pulling up a list of all the things again so we can kind of go back and quickly talk about it. Yeah. Because I, I, they said, an, oh, the rumor was that it was going to be two hours, and now that it's only like an hour 15, we can definitely take a couple of minutes to talk about what we saw, so... Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am excited for Spider-Man, Horizon, and then that other 
I can't remember the name of it now, but it was that like 3D action platformer that was very pretty. Can't remember what it was there called. There were a though. few of them. The girl with the black hair kind of looked like a yeah yeah Pixar movie. Yeah. That's on. But yeah, I would assume we're at the end here, but you never know. There's all there's always like the uh, this this could be like a Marvel thing. Although I'm looking at the time here on the video, and I I would say we're at our end. But we will obviously see if something just comes out the last minute just to be like surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, no, I don't think so. No, I, I don't. Right I don't there. think so either. That's it. Yeah, that's got to be the end right there. Even, even funny enough, it says 2020 Marvel at the bottom. Be like, oh, so it's an end credit. Yeah, this is definitely it. Okay. So do I transition this well enough? Okay, so we're back on the on the proper animation. So we're good. All right, so uh, a lot to go through here. I'm just going to go in order. Uh, GTA Five. I mean, again, cool yeah. that it's going to be available on PS5. I think that was a given oh, anyway. It is cool so that if you're, if you're a PS4 user and you're going to get a million bucks free every month, that is cool. I will say that much, but otherwise, this didn't need to be in there. No, not at all. No. Uh, it Spider was also PS4 footage, so it didn't even... Yeah, that was, yeah, it was a strange way to start it off. If they started off with yeah. what we got here next with Spider-Man Miles Morales, that would have been a kick-ass launch. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's what they should have done. But again, that, the only thing I'm curious about is, I wonder how long they've been working on this, because my brain's like, shit, like... How much time do they spend well, on this game if it's coming out this year? Well, what I was wondering is if it started off with Peter Parker and they decided to change it to Miles. And um, the other thing I'm wondering, if they're going to go with the route that Spider-Verse did, where Peter Parker dies and Miles takes over. Well, as far as we know, that's not the case. Yeah. It might just be a side game, You're right? The, yeah, my my only like real question is, is this a game or is it more like a small like expansion? Yeah. Because yeah, that's no, that's the I only thing I'm worried about. Because the timing is so weird. Because if it's they like, started working on it like if, if a they, year and a half. Well, that's the thing. If they, the if they had said this was 2021, I've been like, okay, they 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 got time. But because it's literally going to yeah. be coming up for launch by the sounds of it, wow, that's 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 either they hid this thing really well for a couple of years, or you know, I think they, they hit it well. Probably hit it well because Marvel is very like airtight, like FBI, CIA level. Secrecy. I mean, for all we know, they were working on it as soon as they finished Spider Man. So, for, I mean, That's they, they the probably case. started with their writing and everything. And then as soon as the dev kits went out, they were like, okay, hey, cool, let's do this. Uh, glossing over again, Gran Turismo 7. I mean, again, basic stuff. Like, you expect that to be there. Yep, absolutely. Uh, it's just, um, it's just a regular Gran Turismo game where it just looks nicer. But you were right. I think a VR aspect would be. Oh, and it, there's that. no doubt it will be. And obviously, we'll learn more about what the VR is going to be like in a PS5 because they're going to be making a new headset for that as well. So, yep. uh, the big one that really got us really going was the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, which looked was unbelievably cool. good fun to play. Okay, uh, That's definitely what, a good with Ratchet and Clank, do they have like an ongoing story, or is it a game that you could just like go into? You, you could play it and not and not worry yeah. about anything. I okay. think there is a story, there's a story, but it's. Like, but it's very generic you definitely... you're you're not going to be left out yeah no oh, okay but yeah that that looked unreal like that wow that rift tech looked fucking uh, so sick yeah it's, that's yeah, really, it was really trippy shit it's like zoom 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 uh we briefly like, got luminous productions finally making a game project athia which told us not that, that looked, much but we yeah. know it's going to look pretty that's that's about the yeah. most we got square enix it's going to look good it's going to look it, good also looks like it's going to be a really long game. That might not necessarily be true. It depends yeah, on what kind huh? of game they make. If it's a JRPG, then yeah, but it, for all we know, it could be an adventure game. Like, it could be something different. It doesn't yeah, necessarily I, mean I it's a Final adventure Fantasy. adventure game vibes from it. Yeah. Mm. But you never yeah. know. Uh, we had our cat yeah. game, Stray. <laughs> yeah, that looked... That, um, I mean, I don't know much about it, but I'm interested. You're a cat. I think, I think it'll be a platformer of some aspect. That's my, that's my yeah. gut feeling. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't I, pay seventy nine ninety nine or something. No, no, no. This would be like a if if it's if it's launching. I this could be like a forty to fifty dollar. Like, and I'm talking Canadian, by the way, guys. Uh, yeah. Forty fifty dollars. So I guess U.S. would be more like thirty forty. 
for like a for like a more indie game, kind of like what Concrete Genie's been, which has been a big one for PS4 lately. Yeah, that has. Uh, Returnal, which was the Prometheus looking thing, looked really cool. Really yeah. funny name. It's I'm just like wondering like what. It, it, there's a lot of questions and i love the format of it being a third person shooter game it gave me like mm-hmm. prometheus and even metroid vibes it's basically and it's like okay i like what you're selling but i need to know a lot more first yeah basically we, we want we want to see some like real gameplay that is like because it probably was a tiny hint of gameplay in there but i want to see like an actual like just straight going through and what the hell you do in it I yeah no yeah. I think there was that was legit gameplay. Well no, there. but what I like, mean is like you showing me around. that I shoot shit is not gameplay to me because I mean anything can be oh. shooting shit. But I'm like, like what anybody... am I actually doing? Am I exploring? Am I trying to find something? Like what what more am I doing? What's my purpose for shooting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Sackboy game, Sackboy Big Adventure again. Oh. I probably won't play it, but there will definitely be a lot of people yeah. that'll have fun with that one. Yeah, and it's perfect if you have kids or something. Exactly. Sure. It was like it's the. It looks like it's the Super Mario answer for Sony. Yeah, which they need. Yeah. They honestly, they need. Need that. you need that with every console. You need that character. Uh, but, we uh, oh. well for Xbox, it's Master Chief. Never mind. I was gonna say that is not that is not their Mario. No, that's not their Mario. I would say their Mario. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't think they really have like a platforming king. I mean, they was, tried yeah. having Banjo and Kazoo- Kazooie because well, they bought Rare. And then they also, I think, didn't they? Didn't they get exclusive ukulele for a little bit? On console, no, no, yeah. Uh, yeah. no, ukulele was bit. available on all all the platforms. Like, I think it was a timed thing. It might have been a timed. I just can't. I can't remember. Uh, after that, we had the kind of like Fortnite-looking twisted metal thing with Destruction All Stars. Oh, that looks oh, yeah, so yeah. fun! Oh yeah, yeah, Rocket League Fortnite. Yeah, that, looks that actually so does fun. look that looked like fun. And if it's free to play, I'd be down for playing that with you guys. Oh, I would pick it up right away if it's free to yeah. play. And then you know, also, I always like to throw the money a little bit of money at the developers when it's free to play. Well, if, like if it. It, it also if if it doesn't feel like they're they're going nuts, like have you guys heard about what Valorant yeah. did? The, uh, no. the the riot uh, answered Overwatch. There I is know what it is. there is a pack in the game that you buy that is just skins for weapons, and. You can, if you buy it, you get like a condensed price if you get the whole package. But if in every individual item, if you didn't get the discount, is seventy five dollars, and it's just skins. What? Not even what character skins. It's weapon skins. Why? Wow. That is <laughs> really so, trying to be like. So Joe. so if they come and be like, hey, like the gu- like the luchador guy that I want, it's like, hey, you want to play the luchador guy? Pay us twenty five dollars for this pack. I'd be like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's too much. I don't care how much it comes with either. Like that's that's, I want to pay like I, ten bucks or something at maximum if, to the developer. I'll yeah. buy a couple things. When 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 here. Rocket League came for free on PlayStation Four, I did eventually get a I think it was like a ten fifteen dollar like pack just to give them something because I've played a lot of that game. They've kind of yeah. earned it. Yeah, that's uh, how it should be. Next up, we had the Pixar looking thing, uh, Kenna or Kina Bridge of Spirits. Yes, yeah, that's what it was. That's the one that I'm very interested in that. I wonder it's if like it, my third yeah. most interesting one, possibly. Yeah, I think it, it will probably be a level based game rather than like an open. Oh, world it's definitely it's one. definitely like a yeah. like a platforming adventure kind of game for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we can probably revisit chapters and stuff. Yeah, probably. We're all guessing, obviously. <laughs> we had the weird furry cinematic trailer thing, "Goodbye Volcano High," which yeah. it, even even in the descriptions, I can't find anything that tells me what the fuck it is. So I couldn't tell you much yeah. more beyond that. Visual novel, maybe. Oh, the the. The cartoon trailer, yeah, or yeah, whatever the fuck it was. The dinosaurs yeah. having a trouble. They're having trouble in fucking high school. <laughs> uh, then What'd we had do? we had the Odd World sequel of Soulstorm. That was cool. I was actually glad to see Odd World coming back. Yeah, yeah. That that looks that that had a way creepier vibe than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always it, had a little. Bit of it catches too. people by surprise the first time you see it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of creepy, just... we had Ghostwire Tokyo after that, which I am now 100% interested in after seeing a little bit more gameplay. Yeah. I'd have to see how horror it is because Japanese horror can get fucking crazy. <laughs> that, yeah. That's that's my worry too. But yeah, you know. <laughs> like the schoolgirl with no head. I was like, I don't know what you're. I really I like down like here. Enough, you're freaking me out, so I don't know. <laughs> 
Uh, next up was the Super Brothers game, Jet the Far Shore, which, again, we really didn't see that much up to really tell me what I'm looking oh, at yet. Yeah. So that that's that, still, like, I need to wait and see on that one. I'm not having high I'm hopes for that one. I'm interested in it only because of Super Brothers who made it and the previous game they that uh, Sword and Sorcery that I played. It was a fantastic game. But, I mean, it's like a fourteen ninety nine game. Yeah. So if this game is, like reasonably priced for an indie game i would definitely check it out yeah for sure uh next up we had godfall which like i said earlier i don't i'm not gonna say this yeah. is gonna be a bad game but i'm gonna say this is a this is a launch game which usually means it's more there to show up the hardware i don't think this it's is gonna be a, oh, i don't yeah, think that's... this is gonna be a memorable game this is just no, my opinion i might be wrong but like the vibe i get from this reminds me of the same thing that rise son of rome was for the xbox one where it's it's cool oh, to yeah. look at but it just isn't that much i forgot about that that's and that's that's my point. You're not gonna. I don't think we'll. Godfall might be one of those games we don't remember when we start talking about the PS6 and the Xbox. Oh. Uh, the Xbox X Series Double yeah. X. Yeah. The Xbox is with a Z. Uh, Xbox next, Series X Xbox Edition X. Next up was the uh, Hyper Light Drift uh, guys making Solar Ash. Yeah. Which Solar just Ash. look yeah, look looks... cool, but I need to see more gameplay. Yeah. It looks like a 3D version of Hyper Light Hyper Light Drifter. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, uh, I got a brief thing of Hitman Three. I, if you yeah. if you don't like Hitman, I don't think this is going to change your mind on getting into Hitman. No, it looks just like the other games, but with better graphics. Yeah, uh, we Hitman sh- has a very slow pace to it. Yeah, I, I've tried to get into them, and they've been they've been tough just because I'm very impatient. Yeah, yeah, you got to figure out the way to assassinate properly. Uh, next up, we had Astro's Playroom, which just looked like another like silly little kids game. Yeah. Uh we had Little Devil Inside. Which I've actually kind of forgotten. Which one was that? Was that the Yeah, I forget that. Wasn't that the one that it looked uh, like it was incomplete? It looked like Play Mobile, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. was that the was that the weird one that didn't make any sense for a while? Yeah, or at all at any point. Oh, yeah. Till the end. <laughs> yeah, it was that <laughs> one. The guy's dropping a deuce in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, it was that one. <laughs> oh, the one with Alfred. The one the one where the yeah, guy dropped a literal bomb in the toilet. Yeah, yeah, that was good. I mean, I'm curious, <laughs> but I I don't know what the fuck we looked at. Yeah. Uh, NBA 2K21, who gives a shit? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, Bug Snacks, which I, I'll take it because it's, it's the Octodad guys yeah. making another game. That again, that'll be a great kids oh, game. Like yeah. if if you're a That's parent, right. you will love playing that game with your kids for sure. It yeah. it, it totally funny. gave me uh, Animal Crossing vibes. No, it's not Animal Crossing at all. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's actually really hard to explain without showing you Octodad. That's the only real way to show you. It's a real life cartoon. Like basically Octodad was a game where like you would have multiple people control like a single character. So you have four limbs, but you have to control each limb. And if you play with two people, like one person controls one arm, one leg, and the other controls one arm, one leg. And you're just trying not to like blow your cover of being an octopus in a human world because you're somehow married to a human woman and and she doesn't know. Yeah. And you have kids. And she doesn't know. It's it's uh, it's it's, it's, it's a cheeky fun like you. it's it's just yeah. a cheeky fun like walk around and just knock shit over kind of game. <laughs> this is Fantastic. reminding me of Animaniacs or Chicken Boo. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I see what yeah. you mean. <laughs> I've been on TV. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> he was a fucking chicken, and then he was the most that. Oh my god, a chicken! It's, I never got as a kid. It's like, wait, wasn't he? A ch- you couldn't tell it was a chicken the entire fucking time. That was the point. They're all stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was a kid. I didn't realize. I guess I was stupid. Uh, Demon <laughs> Demon Souls finally getting a remake. That's been rumored for a long time, and people have been clamoring that for that. Looks what? So cool. I wonder if it's a remake or just oh, it, like I, I looked remake. into it. It is an official remake. It is a oh, full a remake. remake of of the because that's the first game that started the entire Souls genre. So people are gonna love that. Yeah. Uh, Death Loop again, same deal like Ghostwire. I was curious, and now I'm in. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what goes on with that. Oh yeah, that looked cool. Uh, that and then cool. the last couple of things here, we have Resident Evil Eight, which I'm probably not in on just because I'm not the horror guy. But obviously, people who really love Resident Evil Seven, they're going to be loving this. I'm, First I'm actually a little, in, I'm intrigued because it feels like it's going to be the end of Chris Redfield's story. Yeah, you never could know. Be. They might be. They might flip it around on you and just be like, "Jokes on you! It's just Ethan." <laughs> yeah, it could just be Ethan. Maybe they just wanted him for two games because he is a nobody. Uh, let's see. 
which one was this one again? Pragmata? Which one was... Oh, this was the one that was, like, uh, had the ghost girl, like, transferred into shit. Transferred into where, 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 like, the world broke for a second, almost like they were in, like, a like a bubble and a satellite came crashing in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it went to the moon as Again, well. Again, don't know what it, this is. It's Tenet. So we With need Bio to know Shark. more. And then, uh, then my cum load came in with Horizon Forbidden West. That looked cool. And I like there was gameplay and stuff, so that looks like it's pretty far along. Just just for underwater. Oh my god. Yeah. The underwater. Ooh, and, and sorry, did they have a date for that one? No, they did not. Yeah. I would still oh. imagine it's it's if it's not at launch, it'll be within like the first six months. I would imagine. Oh yeah, it'll be twenty twenty one latest. I'm just curious as how soon it'll be with the console launch. And then last but not least, obviously we have the actual console, which uh Looks I, I haven't looked at social media yet, but I will not be surprised to see a lot of people be like, that is a fucking ugly thing, because everybody hates everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. People hate shit that's not a, not a, not a rectangle. Yeah. That just be crazy. It looks, I like it. I actually think it looks cool. I do like it. I, I'm just going to have to figure like out where to put it, because <laughs> yeah. I may need an extra table for it. And it's not weird PlayStation did this, because pretty much since the PS2, the console could be on its side. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, this design doesn't look like one I'd want to have on its side, so... Yeah, this one seems like they went to extra lengths, like, no, fucking put it on its side. We've been trying since PS2. Fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like it's like, no, you're staying in this fuck I around. Actually, you're not putting it flat, no, you I, dumb fuck. I prefer the console standing up. It takes up a lot less space. Well, yes, it's, it's, would... it's because the TV stand that I currently have, I don't think could fit it if it's, if it's vertical. So that's the part that I'm worried about. You could um, try putting the the console behind the TV on its side. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I want to see. I want to see my beauty. Yeah, I want to see it. Ah, fair enough. They showed like, a little. They showed a little bit more. They showed like what the headset will be, the PlayStation camera, and like a media remote. So you know, they they're giving you a little more. Coming out with like there was even a charging dock for two controllers. Yeah, and we got the confirmation that they are using USB C, which is good. Yes, I'm very excited for that. I already have the fucking cables. It's perfect. Uh, so unfortunately, we didn't get much more than that. But I mean, you know what? At least they showed the goddamn thing, and they actually showed a couple of extra things too. So that was a gesture, a nice gesture. I just hope that, like, let's say the next state of play or the next one after, like, I hope that by the time we get to the end of the summer, we at least get like, a little bit more about what what it's going to do. If we don't know by the end of the summer how much it is and when it's coming out, that's going to be the first time in console generation history that's ever happened. If Xbox and Sony both do it. Or even just one of them like that like that's first. well that's when you know because it, like vish was saying yesterday i'm still a little bit annoyed of the practice but i get why markers would do it but if if they're both gonna fight tooth and nail over who has to announce the price first it's like guys like for fuck's sakes especially You're, since they're now gonna have two di- it seems like they're both gonna have oh that's editions. right they show that they have a digital edition for the uh-huh. ps5 as well which again great i love that Smart. if people want to stay away from dollars. from getting physical copies especially now with covid fuck yeah yeah Staying away from I mean, stores, with, you know. Yeah. With the disc edition, you still get to do the digital, which is nice. And you don't have to take up all your hard drive. And you can obviously trade in older games. But I, I don't wonder know, I think... if, the, the, if the digital only console is going to have something built in, like a, a software or something, to realize, oh, this is a digital console. And if there's going to be special prices on the games. I doubt that. The, the I don't think they would. Console. What, like what, what it's gonna what it's gonna be is you're gonna get you're gonna be paying probably like a hundred bucks less for to get that version. Yeah, it's just that they don't have to put on all the hardware for it, so they can sell the console for a hundred bucks less. That's it's the Xbox One said the uh, like it like if you're dig- getting if you're getting the digital console, you're 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 getting it because of the price. Like that's really yeah. why you're doing it, probably. So, yeah. and I mean, I like currently I own a PC and a Switch, and I only have one physical copy of a game, and it's because it doesn't exist in digital form which is Ring Fit Adventure on Switch, because you need the actual physical mm-hmm. peripheral to play. Yeah, I mean, so unless the price disparity is really, really noticeable, yeah. I think I probably would still get the disc version. I think I would too, because there might be some games that... It depends on their backwards compatibility stuff that they come out with and talk about. That's mm-hmm. true. I almost have to fucking get the, the disc version. I just realized. I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, I have to, because I want to play my PS4 stuff on it still. Yeah, because it once the PS5's out, and yeah, like right now, just the discs and everything move over. But even when they talk about it, whatever they do this generation is going to be kind of what they do next generation. So then it's like, should I buy the discs or the digital? 
depends if it's playable on the new system. How are they with digital as backwards compatible versus physical? Yeah, yeah. Physical obviously is more likely, but digital also, then it's kind of like, okay, you don't have to worry as much. New system, digital will move over. So I don't know. I'd have to see what they say. Yeah, that, that was definitely... Jeff Keighley, I'm sorry that was not like a super like game-changing event because uh, we need a little more information to know why it's why it's a big game changer. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, yeah. I I didn't leave pissed. That's that's all I really wanted. Yeah. I'm I'm more happy seeing the games, man. If I can see what I'm actually going to be using on the console, I'm fine. Because well, but here's the thing: this... you got to you got to remember that this is supposed to be a game changer for a console that can run things better. So I wanted. To, if 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 people are gonna sell me that it was gonna be this big changing of like like paradigm shift, I would have expected then to know exactly like hardware wise what this is a game changer for. I want to see, the, I want to see like a full 10, 15 minute clip of this major game like Horizon for example, and show me no frame skips, no loading, no bullshit. Show me all of that stuff. But because we didn't get that and we got mostly trailers, my brain's like, okay, so this was just an E three showcase. It was absolutely just an E3 showcase. It, this this, this, is what this wasn't a paradigm a shift event. It was just another event that just happened to have a lot of cool shit. Yeah, it was a big event in the sense that it's a new console announcement. So we haven't had this kind of a event since 2013 or 2012, whenever that yeah. one was. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's it was any different than when the PS4 was announced in sense. Like, realistically, you, t you take the console out of this video, this is just another E3 showcase. Like, that's all yeah. it is. So it, it wasn't weird. anything that special. Usually, like, I remember during the PS4 announcement, as soon as they announced the console, they also announced the, like, you know, holiday 2012 or whatever it was, or 2013, and a price, and then announced that the PS3, as of that day, was going to be cut by, like, 100-something dollars down to, like, 199 well, well, that's why I'm annoyed, too, because I'm like... It's what I said yesterday, where I'm like, it's fucking June, and this would have been when you would have normally announced. Like, I guarantee you, and this is my opinion, if E3 was going on like normal, I think both companies would have announced everything by now. Yeah. But because yeah, now I've... there's no rush to get people out into stores and pre-ordering, they're just kind of kicking back. Yeah. Which, if that's what they want to I... do, that's fine, but I mean, you're going to be getting these people that are every day on Twitter or Reddit or whatever else just bitching constantly because they're getting impatient because we need something. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They don't have an audience right now watching during those conferences, so there's no one to boo them right on stage, which would be bad publicity. So they well, can do what they want. Have you seen like Bethesda and EA's things? They just pay like half their audience to cheer for no reason. That was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I have seen. Todd Howard, it's, it's just going to work, guys. Yeah, it's just gonna work. Where? <laughs> like, uh, so <laughs> then, here's here's my challenge to you. Top three from this show. Games. Yeah, because I mean the console is its own thing, right? Because mine three, I, I, three I would go with probably Deathloop. Mm -hmm. Two, I would probably go with Ratchet and Clank, and then Horizon, obviously number one. And I don't say Spider Man just because we didn't see nearly as much as it would have required. Also, also gonna... I didn't, I, I, it didn't do anything to make me go, oh, this is going to be different. I'm just like, okay, so it's the exact same thing I know I'm going to love. So, okay, we're good. <laughs> Horizon just made me go, oh, shit, we're getting underwater shit, too. Under I'm going to say Spider-Man. And then I'm going to say Horizon, because they're kind of tied for first. Third place is tough, because it's tied between that Kina, or whatever it was called, yep. game. That was like, because I think that was Kina. Yeah, Bridge of Spirits, uh, the Pixar game. Yes, that, and then Ratchet and Clank. Like, I'm torn between those two because both of them I will enjoy playing a lot. But it's not like I just finished playing a Ratchet game and I'm like, oh my god, I need more of this. You know what I mean? It's still great games, but not game-changing. Mm -hmm. All right, I got Discord waiting, Vish. If you say Madden, I'm fucking kicking you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Returnal, I thought it was really interesting. Um. Yep. I'm just Resident Evil Two gained some interest for me for Resident the story. Evil, oh. the way. <laughs> I thought you actually got Resident Evil Two. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, no, no. Um, and also Spider Man because the first game was awesome, and I'm trying to see how they're gonna do the story with Miles and if Peter is there at all. 
and NBA because it was the closest thing to Madden. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Still did it. <laughs> um, the only thing with Spider-Man is that the, I guess the real question would be then, right? Uh, is this after Spider-Man or is this? Well, I guess it would have to be because he because he yeah. wasn't he wasn't Spider-Man yet. So the no, question just becomes is like, is this? And he also he got a costume. Yeah, yeah. So is this like? way in the future or is this like coming right after maybe peter takes a break for a moment or he's doing something else somewhere else so you never I, know I, well i mean like it's i'm a, wondering if peter's dead or if he's no he's not dead injured. why would he be dead they have to make another game yeah. yeah if they killed him off that'd be bad just game wise because they could make a trilogy with him and a trilogy with miles and make six games and everybody would want to play all of them. Because they don't have sure. to not be separate. They can yeah. play, like, they can be intertwined. Like, you can have... The Spider-Verse. You could have Miles Morales, and then Spider-Man 2 is a game where both of them get mixed together in different missions, right? Yeah, because, like, Miles was in the first Spider-Man game. Yeah. I have a feeling Peter will be in it, but he'll be a side character. It'll be the like, same, it'll Miles be the opposite. It'll be him being the side for a few things, yeah. and then Miles will be, like, 90% of the game. Yeah, maybe Peter's really upset because of how the first game ended... You know, that's all I'll say, just in case he, anybody's he's, watching. He's just, he quote. needed a break. Yeah, maybe he needs a break. Maybe he quits being Spider-Man. That happens all the fucking time in the comics and the movies. So Miles is like, well, if you're not going to do it, I'll do it. And then, boom, we get a, his yeah. kick-ass version. Yeah, that's like, I'm really curious as to, and I think it is a fully brand new game. I don't think it's any addition to the original game or anything. I think it's a fully oh, bottom-up yeah. well, built. And it's that more was the length under. It could be shorter. Under, I hope it it's was just. Old. And it it was probably just kept so, under such tight lips. The original game was released in September of 2018, so we're not even two full years. That's what right. I'm concerned about, right? They started right away. They made the first. But even then, two, but even then, two will... years. That's that's still a short cycle for a lot of these kind of games. But the, maybe well, they're working on it. Saying, saying, but... the game. Like that's they the, were probably working on it because they were like, hey, this game is going to be really well, look, great. I'm, I'm not saying now. that it's not going to be good. All I'm saying is I'm suspicious if this is like the <laughs> same full quality. This may just be like a smaller game. I don't know. But just I'm suspicious of how much time is being booked in this because I would imagine the team was still making Spider-Man up until its launch and then moved on. But I mean, unless there was like a small team maybe making assets and pre-producing it otherwise. But When did yep. Sony buy Insomniac? It was like right around um, came out, right? Let's see. Sony Insomniac acquisition. Do like do do come on Google. It happens a lot with They acquire they acquire them in the fall of last year. Oh, it was only last year. Because I was gonna say, like, if they bought it right in like 2018, they probably just Sony was like, here is a crap ton of money hire people, get going with the second game right away. I mean, for all we like, know, maybe they didn't need to work that much. Maybe they just reused the entire city from the first game as, like, their assets, right? So yeah, maybe, like they, maybe they save time that way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I'm excited either way. Either way, that, that, was, a really, that was a really fun show. I, I was not disappointed. There were a few things in there that I'm like, ah, you couldn't have not put that in there because you didn't give us it, like... Look, I, again, I'm not saying that Goodbye Volcano High is not going to be a good game. I'm just saying there wasn't a game there, so why are we seeing it? Like, that's that's yeah, always been my thing I, with I, these I, things. I hate cinematic trailers for a game I've never heard of. Yeah. And this one, I know it's the style, but it was not appealing to me at all. Oh, yeah. That's I, me. I didn't like the style all at right, all. All right, furry community, start harassing Vish endlessly on Twitter. It's, it's for, like, everybody has their games, right? Every single game we saw today has an audience. Yeah. And there's going to be people that love it. It's just, a neck, not every game's going to be for all of us, obviously. Like, there's I certain mean, indie my... games there that I think I want to try that probably don't interest you guys as much. No, but, I mean, my um, point would still come into play. It's like, I, yeah, I just, it, I don't well, like it, cinematic trailers unless it's a sequel to a game we already know. Yeah, like, uh, what is it about? Like, is it a visual novel? Is it fucking horror game like what is it for like, all what, for what? all we know it's it's a fucking jrpg like how do we know we don't that, that's the only thing i don't like if this was hitman 3 and it was just a cinematic trailer cool because we know what hitman yeah, is if this is her even if it was horizon i'd be a little disappointed not to see any sort of gameplay but i know what horizon is so i'd be good uh, but for this yeah, thing i don't know what you are really be wouldn't look different much either like that's that's just the thing if i don't know what you are like especially if you're a new ip we need to see something that's that's always been my thing I don't, I don't like you showing something if you don't have any gameplay to show me. Yeah. 
You're not Elder Scrolls Six, where you can show a logo and that's enough <laughs> for six years, apparently. Yeah. Oh fuck me. Jesus that Christ. But uh, <laughs> enough about these uh, dumbasses. So uh, us dumbasses are gonna say goodbye because that's gonna be the end of this video. Yep. So yeah. Um, All right, everybody. I mean, obviously, this isn't on. Uh, this is not an audio service, so I don't have to tell you the audio stuff. So obviously, everything is on the screen. Oh, God, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. It's over there. All the stuff you need to know is over there, including like, share, and subscribe, and all that other shit, and all our social media stuff. These oh, guys right are there. just pointing because they got no fucking idea. No, because I'm sandwiched between you guys. Just point down into the down into the right. <laughs> that's a well. That's down into. <laughs> sorry, down into that's, the left. Oh, I keep thinking mirror. I yes, right, because it's mirrored. Yes, this. <laughs> God, this is. We, we have now definitely shown that we are indeed dumbasses. So. Right there. I think right there. Yes, yes, that would be correct. But yeah, uh, thank you so much, guys, for checking us out. All, like, probably none of you, because God only knows, because this is going to be in a massive flood of these kind of videos. But either way, right. take care, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in six months when uh, this thing is going to be fucking beautiful on my TV stand. Oh, uh, oh, yes. yeah. Yes, it will. Or the next time they do a reveal and we do a live. That is true. Show. There is time. We yeah. actually might be doing something Saturday for the PC gaming show, I should add, but I'm not sure if it's going to be live or not. But we'll get to that when it happens. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys, take it easy.